1045 XLO, New England's best variety. We are Jen and Frank. We're also live in the Clinton Savings Bank studio. We're talking to Ricky Duran. We have him standing by, the runner up on The Voice. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning. How you guys doing? We're good, Ricky. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. How are things going? Uh, things are going good. You know, I've just been really busy uh, recording a lot, you know, doing what I can. It's obviously not performing out live too much, but I'm just preparing for all this to, you know, kind of blow over and just use it as a, a time to, you know, get my original music down. Now, speaking of original music, you've been working on some. I have, yes. And you have something new out. That's right. This will be my first single release uh, since my time on The Voice. It's an original song that I wrote. I recorded here in Austin, near Arlen, Texas. It's called She Closed Her Eyes. And tell us a little bit about the song, Ricky. So, yeah, so this is a very personal song for me. It's probably the most personal song I've ever written. It's about my mom. It's, it's really a tribute to her uh, after she passed away uh, two years ago from, from cancer. And uh, it's a special song to me because uh, if you've spoken with other you know, musicians and songwriters, it's very unique when a song comes to you and it, it just kind of all happens at once. And I left the song pretty untouched. So I picked up my guitar and it just kind of came out. I can't wait to hear it. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. That was the music video also. And the music video, was I reading, that was shot locally in the Worcester area. That's right. It was filmed actually at my mom's old house. Oh, wow. And was she in Worcester or a surrounding town? She, she was a surrounding town outside of Worcester, yeah. Well, this has to, I mean, obviously everybody's been set back with COVID and everything. Nobody's done live performances. The whole world kind of came to a grinding halt. So to have kind of that sabbatical to work on something like this, that had to be almost a blessing in disguise. Yeah, that's the way I've been looking at it. And uh, also, I'm going to be having my first live stream ticketed show on the 9th, December 9th. Tickets are also available on all my social media accounts. Uh, And that's going to be really cool because it's going to be local here in Austin, Texas, but broadcast all over the world. And uh, it's going to be at this place called the Continental Club, which is a historic blues club down here. My first time there. I'll be playing with a five-piece band. One of the, the members of my band right now is working with Gary Clark Jr. He's been in the touring band. So he's amazing, and I'm really happy to have, uh, have him on board, too. Well, we hadn't talked to you in a while, and exciting you got all this going on. And again, with all that's happening with COVID, your career's still moving forward. So that's, uh, that's got to make you feel good. It does, man. And, and, you know, what's awesome is just the support that I've, I've received, especially from from all you guys out there in Worcester. It, it doesn't go unnoticed. It's much appreciated. You know, you guys put me on your shoulders during the whole season of The Voice, and I appreciate that I still have your support right now. Oh, so absolutely. You. Well, we yeah, appreciate you so spending true. some time with us, and we're, we can't wait. Uh, your live stream concert is December 9th, and tickets are available for both, and the downloads are for sale right now. That's right. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks, Ricky. We'll talk to you soon. Yep. Talk to you.